All right, now we're going to take a look at ISO shape number 15. And on this one, I think I'm going to go ahead and make a rectangle of the base right here with my three holes in it and then fill it these two front corners. Then I'm going to add a rectangle on top and extrude this and work with this part. Okay, so I'm already in my ISO folder. Oops, let's see. So I'm going to create document. I'm going to call this ISO 15. All right, so I'm going to work from the top looking down on this. I'm going to click on the top. And click sketch and I'm going to go ahead and hide all of these and click on top all right so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten inches wide and one two three four five six inches deep so it's a ten by six rectangle so I type in 10 enter then 6 enter now I could go ahead and extrude this do the fillets and then click on the top sketch and then put the holes in but I can go ahead and put these circles in now so I'm going to take this circle Put it right there. The circle has a one inch diameter. If we look at our shape down here, it's just one inch. So I'm going to type in one, enter. Now the center of the circle is one and a half inches from each side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do my three one inch circles. and then I'll dimension each of them. Okay, so I'm going to click up here on dimension. I'm going to click on the center of the circle. Click on this edge. And it's 1.5 inches. Now I'm going to click on the center of the circle. Click on this edge and make that 1.5 inches. I want to do the same thing with these last two. 1 1.5 1.5 1.5 and the last one, 1.5. Right, I'm going to click on the isometric. I'm going to extrude this. And it automatically extrudes this larger area right here. I could click on other parts to get to extrude. So If I look at my base, my base is one inch high, that's one inch. It's cut my circles out for me. I'll click OK. Now when I fill it, these two front corners, if we look at the center of the circle, that's has a one and a half inch radius. Click on fill it. 1.5 click on this corner and this corner all right so I've got this base now I need to build this shape on top 
All right, so it's, I'm going to do a rectangle that's two inches wide or two inches deep and goes across one, two, three, four inches. All right, so I'm going to click on sketch. I'm going to click on the top. Okay, with my rectangle, I want to use the corner rectangle because I want to start on this corner right here and get that little square that tells me I'm right on the corner. I'm going to hold the left mouse button down, drag it out. This is going to be four inches. And this is two inches. All right, now I want to extrude it. One, two, three, four, five, six inches high. So I'm going to extrude six inches. All right. Now I'm going to use the fillet again. Since this is four inches wide, that tells me that my radius of the half circle right here is going to be two inches. Click there and there to round off the top. Then if I look at where the little X is here and count over to the side, that also has a radius of two inches. So I can click right there. Now all I need to do is cut this circle out that's right here on the front. I'm going to click Sketch. I'm going to click on the front. I'm going to do the center circle. And I'm going to kind of move around there until I find the center of that circle. Left click, drag. Now my circle has a two inch diameter. Type in two, enter. I want to extrude that. I want to remove. And it needs to be at least two inches. And that's shake 15.